we apologize for coming up behind shadow. We hope you will be here with us. Again, Monday 2015, Monday 2015 is a program like you know where we talk about political issues and state of the nation affairs. And so it's going to be in that same vein this evening. My name is Jumoke Adesua. I'm not alone on the show. With me, I have Jumi. Jumi, how do you do? I'm very well, thank you. And good evening, viewers. Thanks for joining us again on Monday 2015. It's just a few days to the gubernatorial election. And, um, well, you can feel the excitement in the air. I won't call it tension. I prefer to call it excitement. <laughs> <laughs> so, well... It's a few days to that election and the um, Nigerians are ready, the stake all stakeholders are ready and we're just waiting for Saturday. Well, on the program brief to join us briefly for the discussion today we have um, Chris Bamide Le, who's a social commentator. Chris, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. I know we've kept you for over 45 minutes now. Well, we apologize. Well, okay, I would say it's fine. It's fine. You're welcome. Much. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of us. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. All right, let's kick off um, talking about um, state of the nation affairs. Uh, again, today uh, we heard that um, um, a certificate of commendation was given to Professor Tahiru Jaga yes. by. Um, Obama, United States, United States and yes. President, and um, would say a lot about us commending Nigerians for the good conduct of the election, and particularly the INEC um, um, chief there for conducting good, credible elections. Um, do you think um, we should still expect something like this for the gubernatorial elections coming up on Saturday? Well, I think uh, if you look at the presidential election, it was it was a very tough one to conduct. And uh, if you compare with what's going to happen with the gubernatorial, because gubernatorial is closer to the people, yeah. you have a lot of people that will be on ground watching what will happen. Yeah. Unlike the presidential election, yes, yeah, still closer to the people, but the result had to go all the way to Abuja. Mm. So I, I don't see INEC having as much problem mm. as they had during the presidential election. I see them. Um, I see. I see that they've learned from the okay. presidential election, mm -hmm. and in fact, they released a memo just a few days ago. I think yesterday or two days ago, that the card readers will be used everywhere. Yeah. That they studied all the challenges they had, mm -hmm. and they've been able to find solutions. Perfect. Some of those. I think during presidential election, when any time a card reader malfunctioned, they had to take it to some place, verify that way for an hour or two. Mm. Now, they, I'm sure they must have looked at all that. And during the gubernatorial election, I can assure you that if any cadre does not work, I'm sure it will not take up to 15, 20 minutes before they bring it back. And I'm sure everything will go on smoothly. All right. So, uh, based on your assessment, we should um, expect uh, a more credible, is it cre the word credible, really, a more organized yes, because, election uh, on I, Saturday? I, I, because I think the election was credible enough. Mm. But being more organized i think is what we should expect mm -hmm. okay it, it all right i want to take you back to that question um a school of thought believes that um, the next um, election is going to be tougher than the presidential elections why because um, we're talking about um the 36 states having to elect their governors and not all the states not all the states though yes it, it, it is exempted uh, which, yeah but, but those states that yeah. have to elect their governors you know that um you know they they will really want to be part of it and um, go to an extent sometimes to manipulate and have their way than what obtained in the presidential election yes, yes i agree to an extent but uh, in terms of organization for INEC, i don't see a very big problem but because the gubernatorial election is going to be keenly contested, because actually the, the calculations for both parties, uh, APC and PDP, before the presidential election was, whoever wins the presidential election hmm. will have a smooth ride okay. when it comes to gubernatorial election. elections. Yes. And because a lot of people, you know, the, a lot of things were said like, incumbent never loses, incumbent mm. never loses, mm. you never lose your power of this and that. and. But it all turned out not the, other way so, around. the other way around. Now, PDP is going to come up. They're going to try and see that, yes, we lost the presidential election, but we're not going to lose the gubernatorial election. And as you can see in the case of Lagos and your state, at least those are the ones I follow very, keenly. I follow them very keenly. They, those, those elections are going to be very close. And I'm sure um, INEC, will, you know, INEC will do their best. 
the security agencies mm. i'm sure they're going to make sure that nobody there's no breakdown of law and order and people the people themselves they will watch their votes they're going to make sure that yes present election we had a vote and our vote counted but this time around we're going to still make sure we do better than we did last saturday